So how's it going? Um, I want to make a little video about Get In, about the, the song, what it's about, because it's, um, it's not your average run of the, run of the mill song. It's, uh, yeah, I guess it came from, uh, there's a history behind it, obviously, a, a little bit about me as well. Um, I went traveling a couple of years ago, I went traveling for, for two years, basically, I set fire to my life. I was working in, um, I was working in business, uh, addicted to success, addicted to money, addicted to lots of different things. And one day it just got too much. I just couldn't take it anymore. I knew I was going to die. Um, and I said, right, okay, there's one thing I want to do, I've always wanted to do, and that was to travel, see the world. So I took off and went right around the world. and spent two years. Um, met a girl when I was traveling, split up with a girl before I left. Um, whirlwind of a life. Uh, and it was great. Traveling was great. I got to, I got to know myself a little bit better. Um, I got to be happy again, which is something that I'd forgotten about. Then I split up with the girl <laughs> when I got back, and all of the stuff that I ran away from just came back at the same time. Um, and everything that I was trying to escape, I hadn't escaped at all. It was just lost in the back of my head. I just buried it. And yeah, I can remember sitting in sitting in Chiang Mai in Thailand, sitting in a hostel and looking out the window, I was just deciding which building I was going to jump off. So I thought that would be the way to go, uh, a building, it would be quick. And luckily, I got chatting to some people because of like, different time zones or whatever, like I was chatting to some people over Facebook, um, uh, some good friends, and they were like, get home, get home, man. Uh, like you're in a dangerous place, and I guess they were right. So I came home, um, I came back to come back to my friend's house. Uh, the toss didn't go away, and I was drinking far too much. Like my head was just a mess. It was a wreck. And I decided then, like it's just pure and sunny. Like I, but the the safest thing for everybody, for everybody that was involved in my life, was for me to go because it was just bringing carnage everywhere I went. It was just bringing carnage. It was destroying people's lives, and I wasn't doing it on purpose. It was just it seemed like it was something that lived inside my head. So. I decided Harry Carey was the way. Like that was it. Like get a knife, drive it in. Um, the soldier that failed, and like that's uh, that was the poetic nonsense that was in my head. Like the the hero's death. Um, so one day I I planned it. I woke up in the morning in the bed um, here in Dublin, and I went to the kitchen as the song says. I took out the knife. I went upstairs. I stood there in the mirror, uh, and I was I was looking at me, but I was it wasn't me. Um, it wasn't me, I wasn't there anymore. I was just, I was a shadow, I was a ghost. And I had it there, and you can see it in the video, the video is a reenactment, fair enough, but it was that was the day. And I went for it, but the knife came out of my hand and went down the floor, and there was something in the back of my head that was saying, you're not doing this, man, you're not doing it. I didn't have the balls to do it. Um, I guess it was what I said to myself that time. In reality, I didn't want to die. Um, and I was crying for help. And people couldn't help me, and that really frustrated a lot of my friends and a lot of my family because they were trying everything they knew to try and help me, but I was crying for help from me. I wanted me to start coming help me. Um, and I didn't realise that at the time. It took me a while before I realised that. But in that moment, I just wanted to go. Um, so yeah, I got a bottle of pills. I thought I'd, like, I'd get up the courage to do it. Um, I dropped a lot of pills, washed it down with some Bacardi and just... <sighs> took another OD on the floor and that was number 12 again as the song says um, and then I woke up woke up to see that face standing over me and I'll never forget that I'll never forget that that was it that was scary that was an introduction for me to a part of me that I didn't know existed and I never wanted to see that again and I decided to go off and not just seek help but actually just pull myself out um, I didn't know whether or not I could, and it was, by God, it was fucking scary. I was, I was afraid. I was afraid of myself, but I was also afraid of whether or not it was going to work. I was always going to be depressed. Um, but I got a focus. I got a focus. Um, I knew that I couldn't do that to people. I couldn't do that, do that to the people that love me. I could do it to myself. And Jesus Christ, I've got a lot of people in my life who I'm thankful for. Um, and so I started this project, this project about music. I wrote the song. The song kind of wrote itself. It just came straight out. Um, but I went from that to okay, let's get let's get some direction. Let's let's see if we can let's see if we can do so. Like there's a lot left in me. 
And so I started to focus on more positive things and I started getting up in the morning and watching Law of Attraction videos every day, um, doing yoga every morning, going to the gym, starting to eat healthy again. And do you know what happened? I started to become happy. I didn't even realize it. I didn't realize it was possible. Like the, the happiness that I was living while I was traveling was just like living in a fairy tale. But I started to get more happy with me. And that was, that was incredible. That was incredible. And it's been incredible. And now, today, I'm thankful to say, like when I watched that video, and I know a lot of people watch it now and they they get shocked and they get afraid and like they worry for the people in their lives who maybe going through that, maybe go through it themselves, but for me that just seems like a lifetime ago. Um I I can remember him, but he's such a different part of my life now. He's just a memory. And I'm happy to say that that's behind me, that's gone. Um I know, right? Sounds like stuff that's not very happy sometimes. Some people take the piss on me about it. Like, uh, um, sometimes it's just easier to write those songs. And sometimes music is therapy. Um, and I guess there has to be much more than just writing a song for charts or whatever else. I don't know if I could even do that. Um, but that song, Get In, that, was the, that, was, that has been the turning point of my life. And today, and today I'm a musician. And today, today I'm going to go to Imro uh, to go over and meet some people about music licensing, and um, I'm recording some videos. And like every day, I'm doing something new for music, and I'm doing something new for me. Um, so yeah, get in. And in particular, the last verse, I, I got to get him before he gets me. I got him. I got him, and he's put away. Thanks for listening.